Right, so I know I've just released a vlog and uh, I recorded that last night. I was tired. It's been a really crappy start to the year, which I know it has been for a lot of people. Um, illness, all sorts of different problems. Um, but something happened today which kind of sorted a load of stuff out. So I'm feeling a lot more myself. So I'm thinking it's time to um, be me. Be be proper me. I'm more used to having my voice on the channel now, so I'm I'm less paranoid about that. Um, there are people who chat with me quite a bit and know what I'm like, and are probably waving their arms frantically, going, "No, no, Sarah, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, just keep doing it the way you're doing it." But you know, screw it. I'm just going to be me now because I think it's time. Um, you know, when I do a vlog, I, I do listen back to it because I'm usually editing the ums and ahs and as many as I can out. But I was listening back to that one. I know I was tired and not really with it, uh, waiting for a live stream to start. And I'm listening back to it and I can hear myself say, you know, the debunking community is just like a, what's the word? It's not cult. It's not. So, and I'm shouting at my screen going, it's community, you idiot. You've just used the word. It is community. I have my moments. Um, I have my very dumb moments. Uh, I suppose if I could have been a little more with it, I'd probably have edited it and, and removed that bit, but I didn't. So, yeah, if I sounded like a numpty, it's because I was being a numpty. Community was the word I was looking for, and I'd already said it. But in relation to that bit... I think what I've been doing so far, because it's a new channel and, you know, being careful, but, you know, screw that. There is something I want to add about that bit. When I was saying, you know, it's, it's about looking after the community, it's about looking after each other. I don't want to see snipping against each other within the community. If you, like, one debunker over another debunker or another channel, it's still all part of the same community. Um, I don't see it very often, but it's really irritating when somebody goes into somebody else's comments and they're not a troll, they're not somebody who doesn't like the debunking community, they're part of it, but they feel the need to be snippy. Don't be snippy. The debunking community shouldn't be snippy. Sarcastic, yes. Um, stand up for itself, yes. Support each other, yes. Tell it like it is, yes. But don't be snippy. It's petty. Please. So, in terms of the channel, um, with having a lot of problems I've been having solved today, I can now go full steam ahead with some of the things I want to do. Now, obviously this started out as an art channel. It has turned into a paranormal channel for the community. And I'm fine with that. That's no problem. I do want to incorporate some of the artwork, so I've actually ordered a, a graphics tablet, so I'll probably incorporate more artwork into the uh, into some of the videos um, eventually. But uh, to be honest, at the moment, it's just I'm so tired. It's just nice to have a rest and not have to have to do it. Whereas um, I'm quite happy to sit at the computer and do little skits and and vlogs and stuff. So. Uh, the graphics tablet is actually for a super secret project which is going to take some time but um, I will release it on here when it's done because it's all been greenlit. Now in terms of content there will be more skits. I really enjoy doing the skits. Now I, I did fanzines and, and forums for years and always used to do parodies etc and I've really missed doing that so um, I actually find it quite relaxing doing those and it's just really nice to get back to that because you know I'm a sarcastic mare so uh, it's um, fairly new doing its video editing so I'm getting used to that and I am trying to upgrade software at the moment um, which I've had advice on so I can actually make things look a little bit more less clunky less clunky um, and I'm trying to keep up with Josh from Paranormal Seekers, who's getting just way too good at his bloody editing and his stylizing, um, which I've told him repeatedly. Um, we've A lot of us have decided that uh, he's going to get so good if the machines take over, he's going to be at the front. 
because he's so used to working the uh, the programs out now. I've already got an idea for a couple more um, comedy pieces. Added to that, um, I've started to think about the next Crow Radio. Um, I don't think it'll be the talk show one I said because that one's going to take me time to get all the sign bites, signed bites, sound bites together. Um, so, but I have had an idea for for one um, in the interim, and I've been shown some artwork by um, Philip Hansen that uh, really fits in well. Uh, to be used for that so um, yes I am seriously starting to think about Crow Radio, the third part of Crow Radio now because uh, again I enjoy doing those um, just finding the sound bites but uh, I've already got a few clips so that will probably be, I mean I don't know next week it depends how quickly I find everything I need for it Uh what else is that I am going to be doing the the horror movie analysis and comparing it to the fake channels. Um, writing that's not a problem because I've taught horror movies for years, so I know the format for that. It's literally just getting everything together and together and putting it together. Um, and I've already got my uh, eyes set on some of the channels that. I want to call out for some of their techniques to try and make themselves look real and what they end up doing is just looking like the straight out of a bloody horror movie and you know which channels I'm talking about especially if you've seen my sex spotlight video and actually about the spotlight videos um, I do have several channels in mind f for that I haven't decided exactly who I'm going to do next but I think I know but I just want to say something about the Spotlight channels. I'm tiny channel. I'm a tiny, tiny channel. And 99.9% .9 of the people who are watching me already know the channels. I'm not doing those channel spotlights at this point to, to advertise channels necessarily because you know they're there. Um, I mean, it might be in the future uh, as the channel grows, there may be people that come in that maybe don't know all the channels, but I know everybody here does. I know this. Um, the approach I'm taking with them is to, it's more of a review from me as to why I think the channels are so important from my point of view um, and the way I tend to, to view them and and um, what I get out of them. So I've already done Doof Doof Paranormal, Joe Vitale and uh, Seg. Um, I've got several channels in mind. Um, some are very small at the moment and I want to wait a little bit because they are growing and they're going to grow bigger so I get a better overview of them. Um, there's one that I want to do but I'm fairly newly subscribed so I want to get a, a better overall view of the channel before I do it. Um, and the one which may possibly come next but I'm not going to say who it is in case I decide not to do it next but um, it's somebody everybody knows but I'm, I'm doing it as my journey into into um, how I've sort of followed that channel so the spot channel spotlights will will keep coming um, and to be honest they help me get my head around, around everything um, and for example doing the Joe Vitale one where I'm looking at the way he, he does the filming is where I got the idea to do the horror movie um, series so putting those same techniques um when when analyzing the channels that don't do it properly and who aren't honest about it the other thing that will be coming up soon obviously leave it till the end of the month is the february review uh i would imagine i'll be mentioning the cody and satori controversy I would imagine I'll be mentioning the paranormal nightmare controversy, which, by the way, hit me hard because I, despite everything, I actually still really like the Foreman brothers. And although I, I had a feeling sooner or later it was all going to go pear shaped, um, and that's the only channel, you know, that out of all of them that you know I've watched in the past and and don't watch anymore because of whatever reason. It's with me. It's not always about 
just about them faking it. It might be that, you know, a bit personalities change once. You know, the magic number on YouTube and so many channels I've watched and they hit the 200,000 and it all goes to the heads and all goes pear-shaped. Um, so there's quite a few channels I've unsubscribed from because it just seemed to go silly. Um, but I don't know. The, the only one that's actually affected me that I've kind of had to, at the moment, step away from is, is Paranormal Nightmare because, you know, gen I like the brothers and, I'm, I, you know, maybe they'll turn it around. Maybe they'll come out of this and at the other end and it'll be okay again. I don't know. But that's the only, uh, genuinely the only one out of all of them that's actually bothered me. So I'll probably mention that. Um, in terms of what you're probably looking at now, which will be the skull with the lights behind it, um, I do actually plan eventually on, on being on camera. The, the only reason I'm not is I'm not set up for it right now. Um, I need a proper microphone and I'd really rather have a proper setup where you know there's some, well, my, all my geekdoms behind me and uh, it doesn't look like a mess so um, I don't know how long that'll take because I've got to figure out where to set that up but um, yeah I mean eventually I probably will pop up on camera um, I just think uh, for me it's probably easier because I think you probably see more what I'm like if you can see me than um, you know I'd, I I uh, I don't have crow's voice or personality to hide behind a mask and and still be animated. Um, I think uh, I think I'd rather have that personal touch, but I don't know when that will happen. Um, but it will happen at some point. But like I say, more more for anything, it's the equipment and. Because uh, I use my phone for the voice at the moment, and I also, like I say, want a proper setup. Um, so you'll be able to see just how much of a nerd I am. So um, I'm seeing this is running at 12 minutes, which means it's going to take a stupid amount of time to upload again. So thank you for listening. Thank you for the support, because I have gained a few subscribers this week. Um, and I should say thank you to, <laughs> I, I made a comment to Josh Parrish of, of Paranormal Seekers, I was gaining subscribers and I was coming for him very, very slowly and he shouted me out and I woke up to 10 more subscribers. So thank you Josh because you, you did up my subscribers this week. Um, Joe gave me a shout out and Seg did. Um, I think Beardo mentioned me as well. So, um, yeah, the, the subscriber count is, is is going up slowly. I don't expect it to go through the roof anytime soon. Um, but it's nice to see the count going up. And I, and I genuinely, as much of a sarky mad as, madam as I can be, I genuinely appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch a channel with, I'm looking at my screen now, 116 subscribers and is watching and is making comments saying hello to me in chats um this community is fabulous it really is and um i probably just should finish off just thought thanking people for uh, the shout out yeah thanks crow thanks crow um i probably honestly i haven't said this but uh, I, I fully intended to get the channel up and running as a winter project, but do you know what? If Crow hadn't have shouted me out just before Christmas, I probably wouldn't have bothered. I probably would have found something else to do. Um, but because Crow shouted me out, I thought, well, if he's shouting me out, I may as well make the most of it. Um, so, yeah, thank you, Crow. Uh, You're a diamond. But I'll be honest, I am relying on you if you do watch this vlog, not getting this far and hearing me say that. So, thank you everybody. Um, I can put more time and effort into this now, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it'll just get better and 
I I can tell you what I've got in my head planned, I just have. But I'm always coming up with new ideas. And sometimes they're done straight away, like the toe-tapping commercial was. And sometimes they're things that I know is going to take a while. But uh, thank you, everybody, for everything. <laughs>